Real quick. Hi guys. Pearl Wood, Santiago, Trail Call me what you want to call me. I know I look like I'm in like some murder factory underground or something, but it's just really bad lighting in here. What can I do? I didn't get to record an intro for today's video, so I just wanted to tell you guys a little bit what about what I'm doing now. Uh, I had a bicycle as a kid. Never had one as an adult. It's having a big issue. Focus. Anyway, <laughs> um, so I went to go buy a new bicycle. I bought an 86 World Tour, World Schwinn. It's a Schwinn. It's a 1986. It's beautiful, beautifully wrapped. You guys will see it. I'm going to get on it, ride it. Just a little bit of an overview of what it's like to own a bicycle, which is kind of a funny thing for some to hear, but here you are, listening and watching it anyway. So stick to the end. I want you guys to see all the videos. I got new mics and stuff, so I'm just playing with stuff. Uh, yeah, get right into it. Let's go. Alright boys, we've made it onto the highway. Uh, I got everything in the back, making sure we, uh, we're all ready to bring this bike home today. I'm excited, yo. I had a bike when I was a kid, and I had a bike as a young teen, and it's gone. So I need a new one, and I wanted to get a road bike. I want to get into road biking, so we're, uh, yeah, we're going to go pick it up. According to my maps right here, we are 54 minutes away, 48 miles. We are shooting like a rocket down south past Naperville, past Joliet, if you know the Chicagoland area. We're going pretty far down, so yeah, pretty excited. I'll, I'll, I'll tune you guys in when we get there. So here's kind of flying all over the place, so let me fix this real quick. So we got the bike. I'm actually here. We're going to test out the new DJI mic I got. It's, it is freezing. It's been raining all day. But we're going to make this happen. So, yeah, let me get the mic set up to the camera and stuff, and then we'll sit on it for a second, and then we'll take it around. All right, so as you guys can see, I'm taking a seat on it now in slow motion because, you know, I'm an editing wizard, but uh, I'm about 5'7", five, 5'8". Five, These are 27 and a half inch wheels, and they actually fit me pretty well. I can't flat foot the bike, but uh, I feel pretty stable on it, so that's how I feel with that kind of tires. I mean, this is an 86, so it's a pretty old bike, but... As you guys can see in these beautiful B-roll shots I got, um, it actually looks really good for the condition. He re-wrapped the bars, which is something I did not want to do. Um, I have brand new tires on it, brand new cup holder. Uh, the guy had like 30 bikes, you know, when I pulled up. You'll see, it, you'll hear about it in the video, but um, yeah, new tires, new everything. This thing was just ready to throw on and ride, and for the price I paid, it's just a lot more worth it than going out and buying a new one, I'll be honest with you. but Okay, see, now it's working. Um, this is it. This is the new bike. It's a 1986 World Tour. I, yeah, or just a 1986 World, I guess. Um, I'm pretty excited to get on the thing. I was trying to get a lot of footage of, you know, how I stand and operate in it. I've never been on a bike this low before, and I've also never looked at this dumb. Because, uh, actually, I don't know if you can tell, but I got a helmet on. Because <laughs> it's the only way I can uh, get this get this whole thing to work. So, yeah, let's just let's hop let's hop right on it. We're gonna take it around. This is my first time on a bike this uh, like a road bike like this. I was trying to explain earlier. Never been on a road bike because I had a mountain bike as a kid, and that is unfortunately gone. I had gloves about two seconds ago. Goodness me! And let's see. Uh, oh man, the seat is so rough i don't even know how to change gears on this thing is this what the gear change thing is do you hold it like this oh man that's a heavy gear this feels weird man this feels really weird to be able to like be this low i feel very unstable do i feel more stable up here not really but it's kind of a funny thing to do like this is uh we're gonna actually just take this I thought this would be like a paved trail here, but it doesn't look like it. So we're going to try not to break our, break our faces. We got a helmet on at least, but as for riding impressions of a road bike, cause again, I'm only used to mountain bikes. Um, it doesn't feel as sketchy as I thought it would. Um, it's definitely super, <laughs> it's definitely super light to turn and I feel pretty high up off the ground, but I didn't really have my own mountain bike. I had my dad's. And so his was definitely like this. Um, how do I brake? Okay, these are the brakes here. Okay, that's really good to know. That's kind of funny. Oh man, let's just push through. Push forward. Okay, let's get back. 
let's get it going. All right, prop that up a little bit more. Yeah, I mean, for going forward like this, you feel, you feel like uh, aerodynamic. <laughs> I'm definitely enjoying this road bike kind of feeling. Although I don't know if I'm arching my back incorrectly or what it is, or if I'm too short or too tall, but I'm already starting to feel it on my back. So uh, not, no handing this one. I don't feel confident doing that just yet. We'll, uh, we'll take it right here. I don't know where I am. I'm just, I'm just on my, I just was on my way home and I was like, you know what? I'll record a little bit of footage of me running around the neighborhood. Oh wait, oh, these are the gears. Oh, nope, nope, that's a brake. Okay, I love the way these grips look. I love the way the bike looks. I'm already running out of breath, which is a, a bad sign. The sign that I, oh my God, I know where I am. Whoa, yeah, I know where I am. What the heck? That is a, this is a very long story for another day, but I know exactly where I am. Which is really funny. But um, yeah, guys, get a bike. Get a bicycle. Why not? You know, I need to get more exercise. I'm aware of that. And so that's why I'm going ahead and buying one. Uh, you, new bikes are so expensive. It's ridiculous. And I understand performance, right? But I'm not paying five, six, seven, eight hundred dollars uh, for, you know, an entry medium level road bike. It's, this thing was 80 bucks, new tires, the Facebook marketplace special. Let's see if I can learn how to break this way. We're gonna get on the road, get back to the preserve, start picking it up a little bit. Oh, there you go. Man, not having mirrors is weird. I don't know if it's just a motorcycle thing, but not being able to see behind me, stressing me out a little bit. That's kind of funny. No, I'm, I'm learning how the bike works. I like the way it feels. The butt hurts. Like when I mean hurts, I mean it hurts. But uh, other than that, you know, it's not too bad. Fun little road test on this thing. You can really get the pedal having your hands this low. You can really push down with your feet. I don't even know how to change gears on this thing. This is so fancy. I'm 99% sure it has to do with this thing here. I don't know what that's about, but. And like an asthma attack later, this thing's pretty sweet. Uh, I enjoy it. I hope you guys enjoyed me picking it up. I'm just using this as a way of learning how the new technology, ugh, learning how the new technology works and everything like that with the DJI mic and hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, let me know. It's gonna be like the train video where I make one thing about it and it goes away. Not the physical capacity to utilize this thing, but we're gonna get to it by the end of the summer. Mark my words. See you guys in the next video. Peace.